Hello again and welcome to the part where we will be modeling this beam here. There are many ways we can employ to, to draw it. I will go with a simple one. So for now, so I will select this body, this one, this one, and this one, then right click and isolate. Now let's select um, the right plane then select corner rectangle and let's draw a rectangle of 400 millimeters in length and this distance should be 75 millimeters now we can simply draw another one here and let's set a distance of 450 and I need to make this line equal to this one also make this point with this point vertical and we just need to fix this length by making these two lines equal now exit the sketch and we need to extrude these but let's do it one body by one because there will be some kind of difference between them so i will go to select controls and i will show the sketches um, and, and i'm interested in this contour first so i want it to go up to surface and i will pick this one here and for direction two i will do the same up to surface and simply select this one then hit OK. Now what really happens after you extrude it, the sketch itself will be hidden. So make sure to show it again, select it again, then extrude. And this time, select Controls, and let's select this one. Up to surface is already selected, so select this one. And for the other side, select this one. The reason why I did it this way is that these two flanges are not identical that's why we had to do it on two stages now the last part is the web i will exit the isolate and this time i will only keep these two bodies isolate let's pick the right plane and here i will just place a point in the middle i will snap to the midpoint and center rectangle draw it randomly for now now select this line with this point and make it midpoint set this to 10 millimeters and now i want this line to be coincident with this edge once you're done Let's extrude it for direction one up to the surface. And for direction two, the same story. And make sure for not activating merge result option, then hit OK. And here we have it. Now exit the sketch. And as you can see, we have it placed and it does not have any interference we will check for that later now we need to pattern this one so i want this pattern to be normal to the front and for the bodies i will need this one this one and this one and for sure i need to increase this distance we need five pieces of this And we need it somewhere close to this part here so i will have the top view and i will increase this distance here and as you can see we will have a problem because it will interfere with this eye section and it will interfere with this one 
So now you have two options. The first one is to skip these entities in the pattern itself or simply to delete these bodies. So what I will do is that you can just select any body from here, then delete, keep, remove this one and just pick the ones you are interested in deleting. So I'm interested in deleting this one and this one. Make sure it's delete bodies and then hit OK. And what is nice about this command is that it will be listed in the model tree here. So for any case, if you want these eye beams to be there again, you can just suppress or delete this command and you will have them listed again. Now, if we have a look at the model tree, let's pick this body for example, and as you can see, we have five instances of it or five copies. That means they are identical because we already created them using pattern command. Now, let's talk about the plate where we connect this trailer by the kingpin, which is this one. I will select the right plane again, and I will start from here up to this point, and then this angle usually is 35. And the length shouldn't exceed 150. Also, the length of this part should be 2000 millimeters. Now, since we will have a bend here, let's create it using the sheet metal tab. So, by selecting the sketch, we will have some kind of interference here, so we need to reverse the direction. Also, we will have some kind of interference, we will deal with it now. But, for the direction one, let's use up to surface, and let's pick this one. And for direction two, let's use up to surface as well, and select this one, then hit OK. Now we have this plate, but as you can see, we will have some kind of interference, so we will need to drag it a little bit here. Now before I drag it randomly, we can make like a simple calculation, or measurement, sorry. So the distance between this edge and this vertex here, we are interested in the horizontal one, so I'll drag this here. So we are talking about 2.08 millimeters. Now, what really needs to be done is that we need to shift it in the main sketch here. So instead of having it coincident here, I will delete this relation. So select this vertex, delete the coincident. And now I need to set a distance between this one and this one, let's say 2.1 millimeters. And now it will be fine. Okay, let's save our work for now and let's check for the interference once again. So evaluate tab, interference detection, then calculate. So there's no interference, the model is clean. We need to create a hole here. So place any random hole, and usually from this part here to this one, it should be around 750. And the size of the hole can be determined based on the standard size of the king bend to be used. For now, I will keep it to 250 millimeters. We need to pick the origin point along with the center of the circle and make them vertical. Now it's fully defined. And from the sheet metal, you can simply extrude it cut. And here you can simply select length thickness. For direction 2, you need to turn it off. 
and it will understand that we are talking about the thickness of this sheet then hit ok next we will place the u section here and we will talk about some details